Hello everybody, I am Raymond H. Bordo, reporting to you that have you ever been encountered such things as those people who's attacking you directly to your beliefs and what you believe on and what do you hold, what idea or anything that's kind of knowledge that you have obtained that was attacking you? And do you remember or even know to yourself that you try to counter-attack those attack from them through this process of communication? Well, those ideas and those things, events, are entering this kind of theory of communication. And that is what is called inoculation. The inoculation theory, the inoculation theory, was proposed by Maguire is a response to the situations where the goal is to persuade someone not to be persuaded by another. The theory is a model for building resistance to persuasion attempts by exposing people to arguments against their beliefs and giving them counter arguments to refute attacks. The theory therefore offers mechanism by which communication is used to help people defend their beliefs. But there's something needed for this theory. What we call this theory in today's world, we are bombarded by information from all angles. There are a number of attempts being made on an everyday basis to persuade us in one direction Therefore, there is a need to know how such persuasion attacks can be fought. The theory of result, a way in which resistance to persuasion can be achieved. According to Play, the following are the two major components in an inoculation message. One is threat. A threat here is a forewarning of a possible attack on one's attitude and beliefs. The person is aware of his vulnerability to persuasive attack. The, per the, the perception that there is impending threat psychologically, psychologically motivates a person to defend his beliefs and attitudes. And the second one is reputational preemption. What is it? Potential targets for persuasion attacks should not only be forewarned, but the inoculation message should also preempt what the possible counter attack will be. We're preferring the inoculation message, the arguments that the other side will put forward should be anticipated and ways of countering them should be prepared. For example, in the credit card experiment, mentioned above, Compton and Play kept in mind the popular arguments that credit card companies use to your students. They then came up with strict statistics and arguments that repeated claims like increase financial security, build a strong credit history, etc. 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 Do you know, are you very familiar with the, the movie called Da Vinci Code? What's about it? Da Vinci Code was based on an extremely controversial novel of the same name. Therefore, before the release of the movie, the Catholic Church took steps to inoculate its followers when sending out the inoculation message that showed that the movie was a trick to alcoholic beliefs. Catholic beliefs are very harmless, harmless and also very relative to others. But they anticipated and successfully counterattacked the various arguments that were presented in the movie. Just like those controversial scenes like showing how or what the truth lies behind the Catholic Church. And that's for all folks. I am here, Raymond Richard Warner, sending to you 
reporting to you of class B and everybody. Thank you for your appreciation and for listening to my video.